The shadow on my face today is appropriate for how I'm, how I'm feeling. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Schwartz. Uh, usually Wednesdays are the days that I do this. I'm folding and talking your ear off. Um, sort of an update today on all things uh, me uh, in hopes that me sharing my journey of... Um, I'll just jump to it. Guys, I'm going off of my SSRI. I've talked about it before. I just wanted to give an update. I was going to talk about something completely different today, but the truth of the matter is I'm really having a hard time today. I feel like I was doing pretty good and then I hit a wall. Um, in fact, I already filmed like half of this video and then I like got so lost and like turned around in my thoughts and my Body has just been doing this really weird thing today where it feels like I'm in a constant panic attack. Um, but like mentally, I know what's happening. So it's an interesting thing. Like before I started the Zoloft way back in the day, I would get panic attacks and I didn't know what they were. And that was kind of scary. But now like I'm aware, but it's still like a phys like I'm still physically feeling like all day long. I feel like my heart's just been like, and I've been feeling like, so on edge and also so unmotivated and so tired and so like nauseous and I'm just oh god this is like when will it end I'm down to like my final bit let's see I have like a half left that I need to decrease I'm going super duper slow and again I already made a video about this whole thing and why I'm doing this blah 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 so I'll leave the link for that uh, but I just needed to be honest with you guys how I'm feeling so that you're not like um curious when watching my videos why I'm sort of like a little bit in and out um yesterday I was feeling pretty good and so I got that video up yesterday um but today I've just hit a wall that being said like the some like senses of normalcy like doing videos and doing chores like actually is helpful for me um although right now all I want to do kind of is just like wrap up on the couch and like not move but I have stuff I need to do oh I'm sorry I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer in the slightest and I know that people have so many like bigger it oh sorry cute girl issues on their hands um so I'm not trying to like diminish that uh, but this is my channel and this is my journey and you guys are here for one reason or another. Um, so I, I just needed to be honest that I'm struggling uh, a lot today and I'm hoping that it'll lighten up. I haven't had great sleep in the last three days. She's been having some of her own little issues that we're working on and dealing with with the vet. Um, but it's caused some like sleepless nights. So I'm guessing like the exhaustion on top of what's going on. Um, with this like detox of of Zoloft um, is just so intense. Uh, I was also sick last week and getting over that. So it's just been a lot and I just wanted to be honest with you guys um, that I'm just going through a roller coaster. That being said, um, being here with you guys is always just so wonderful for me for so many reasons. So I hope that um, today's video is helping somebody out there who's feeling all the feels. Also, we're, um, I like don't wanna move her. We're going into the holiday season and I just wanted to remind you guys that it's okay to set boundaries. I saw this great post that a friend of mine uh, reposted and if I can find the original post, I will leave the link or I will uh, repost it on Instagram. But it was basically like, it's okay to set boundaries um, for your holiday seasons. Um, even if it's like with family, like make sure that you're putting yourself first in like, you know, sometimes the idea of being selfish is like, I don't know, it's, I'm so worried about everyone else. So the idea of like doing anything for myself or the act of being selfish is like so brutal to me, but, um, it was things just like, yeah, setting your boundaries. Like, yeah, I would love to attend, but I'm going to bring a few of my own dishes. Would that be okay? Kind of thing. Um, for us personally, we have like very like specific dietary needs and wants. Um, and, you know, we're flexible. We're not going to be a pain in the butt about it. But also like, what a wonderful thing to just say to the host of Thanksgiving. Oh, wonderful. Let me help out. I'd love to bring a few dishes, which we've never done in the past. And then every time we go, we're like, Oh my God, this is 
why are we like putting things into our body that we normally wouldn't want to just to be like kind um you know we don't eat meat not to say that we go there and eat meat but like whatever we have our own like um rules and regulate not rules but like our own feelings about what we like to consume and so i thought that was a really interesting one i wish i remembered the other ones but it's also okay to say no to invitations uh even if it's with family um you just need to really put yourself first again that isn't selfish um it's necessary and um you know you could say you could um, put boundaries up like giving yourself a time frame and uh leaving when you need to leave or um showing up when you need to show up it's not rude if you just set your boundaries and you make it clear i think i personally oh sweet thing have a tendency to not want to upset people so I don't say anything and then I wait to the last minute to say something and then that like makes it worse do you know what I mean like cancel plans last minute or ask for whatever last minute it's like if you had just like said what you needed up front and been clear about it it would have been so much easier I think I'm not really making sense um, my brain is like super foggy but I just wanted to let you know, like, I understand that holidays are hard for so many people for so many different reasons. And I'm just kind of like send, sending some protection and love and giving you the okay to set boundaries. Um, it, you know, you just need to do what you need to do to get through it. Um, not to say like all holidays are terrible, like that sounds awful, but you know what I mean? Like it's a lot of activity, it's a lot of family, it's a lot of feelings, it's a lot of loneliness. There's a lot of emotions wrapped up in this end of the year and I just wanna let you know you are not alone and um, take care of yourself, put yourself first and that is okay. Do what you need to do, take the rest, take the time. You don't need to make everyone else happy because ultimately that doesn't make you happy. And hopefully the people in your life just want you to be happy. If they don't, then I wanted to like use profanity, but I've been working really hard on not using profanities on my channel. They slip once in a while. One of them slipped yesterday in my uh, try on video, but it kind of made me laugh, so I left it in. Uh, I used to like curse all the time on my channel and people would get so mad at me which is so silly people love to get mad at like anything i guess that's another thing steady boundaries like just across the board oh that's what i wanted to say setting boundaries on social media too because you know i do really think that the holidays can be or tend to be lonely um and there's a lot of fomo and there's a lot of like i wish my family was this way or i wish i was this way or like you know whatever I wish my relationship was this way or that way or whatever and it's so easy to compare because people obviously post the most flattering things of themselves on Instagram or social media so just a reminder that it's okay and maybe it's even necessary to like set some boundaries um in terms of your usage on social media uh during the holidays and or like it's okay to not or rather, it's okay to like, um, what am I, what's the word? Not block people. I mean, you can block people, absolutely. But like, um, hide certain people that it, if, if it just doesn't make you feel good to look at their stuff, um, it makes you feel less than or whatever, um, it's okay to hide people. It's okay to not engage. It's okay to not post. I just want to give you the permission to do what you need to do to make yourself uh, happy and healthy for this holiday season. So there you go. What a mush up of talk, my friends. What am I saying? I don't know, but I feel like it's better to come on here and do something than not for my own personal uh, mental health. So in the comments below, let's do this. First of all, these are my favorite sweatpants. I've been wearing them all week and I like had to wash them because they were getting gross, but these are rich or poor. Is rich or poor still around? They were so hip and happening. I was thinking about that literally in the middle of the night because that's what I do. I wake up and think about the most random things. I was like, are they still, are they still going strong? Because these sweatpants are freaking delicious. Uh, anyways, 
been to common school, I think it would be fun because I like on these, sorry, this is usually a Wednesday video, but because I've been sort of all over the map physically and mentally, um, the week is all messed up. But in the comments below, I would love to hear some boundaries that you think, whether you do them or not, right? We could always like preach or it's so much easier to like give advice than actually like implement it and take advice. Um, but what are some useful boundaries you think um, that we can sort of share with each other for this upcoming holiday season. Oh, I know what one of them was. It was like, hey, um, instead of doing gifts for all, can we draw names out of a hat? Like, you know, for big families where it's just like, it is it is a, a really tough time financially for a lot of people. Um, we're feeling it here and I'm feeling the guilt that I won't be able to provide like proper big, gorgeous gifts for everyone in my life. Luckily, I come from a family who doesn't really do gifts. Um, we've kind of all just agreed that like, we don't like to just spend money to spend, or like buy gifts by gifts. If we see something throughout the year that reminds us of each other, um, that to us is more meaningful. Um, but I know that there's a lot of pressure amongst families, especially with kids. I mean, kid, that's a whole different story. I, I can't even really touch on the kid thing um, and the pressure of like that. But like, uh, you know, big families or even friend groups that it's okay to say like, hey, instead of us all like doing gifts across the board, why don't we do like a secret Santa or can we draw names or like setting a boundary like, great, I would love to participate in gift giving, but I... I'm having to, or I'm needing to set boundaries for how much we spend. Uh, Jeff and I always do that with each other where we set a limit as to like, or a budget rather for what we're gonna spend on each other um, so it doesn't get out of control. Um, so I thought that was a really, I'm so glad I thought of that one. <laughs> um, so basically I wanted to hear if you guys have any other ideas like that um, to give each other permission to set boundaries um, this holiday season so that you feel like um, satisfied and that you feel like you're not getting walked over or doing things that you either can't afford or simply don't want to do. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Um, I might actually put up a vlog tomorrow uh, if I can pull it together because we have Black Friday. Speaking of spending money, Black Friday is coming and I gotta say, um, I don't like to spend to just spend, but I do feel like Black Friday is always like where it's at if you are in the market for certain things that you've been putting off, especially like utilities or like um, running shoes, things that like you've been, bras, like things that you need to update but have been putting off because they're so silly expensive. So I might start um, sort of looking through some Black Friday deals if you guys are interested. It's a lot to sort through and it's super overwhelming. So let me know what kind of categories uh, you're interested in me covering. I definitely will revisit my Teddy Blake bag maybe tomorrow. Um, I talked about it last week. They're having a great sale. So if you're in need of a, a, a like a great luxury bag, that's a good place to start. Um, but also, like I said, I think Nordstrom does some pretty good Black Friday sales. And now like people are doing uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and usually they're doing it like the week before and the week after. So uh, lots of options out there, but let me know exactly uh, what your in need of or what kind of gifts you want to get it's a good time to get gifts too so anyways it was a mush mash mishmash of thoughts feelings emotions but i do actually feel a little bit better now that one i've gotten some stuff done and two that i've come on here and kind of shared with you i hate hiding stuff from you guys um it just feels inauthentic and uh so thank you for giving me a safe space to share and i hope that i'm giving you a safe space to feel listen and feel be heard no feel like someone out there understands you and be heard in the comments so go at it i look forward to reading them love you guys and uh maybe if i can pull it together i'll see you tomorrow